All right, so in this hunt, I just got the call set up. It just finished off its first three-minute cycle on a dying rabbit, and this bobcat comes down the drive there from the right to the left, stands kind of dead center, and just looking around, licking itself, trying to figure out where the noise is coming from. Let's out a couple cat calls, which is really cool to hear in person. And uh, I went ahead and, and got a rest and was super shaky, super nervous to try and you know get this cat because this opportunity doesn't happen all the time 
And for this thing to just come in so quick was really amazing. So I was finally able to get a shot off. And uh, I was watching it through the scope, making sure it wasn't going to run off or crawl off or anything. And uh, a flash went across the scope, and it kind of startled me. So I pulled the gun down and looked, and there was a fox come barreling in right after I had shot. And I don't know if he was coming to the gun commotion or the dying rabbit or what, but he come in, spun around. So I was able to uh, get the scope back up, get on him, and put him down. Which is really awesome to have two animals like that, you know, within seconds of each other. So, really uh, excited. One of the most exciting hunts I've been on. And it all took place uh, under 20 minutes from leaving my vehicle to harvesting both animals. So, really exciting. And uh, predator hunting is definitely something that me and, uh, well, D&J is going to expand into. So... Uh, stay tuned we're going to do some coyote hunting later on and uh, hone our skills for predator season next year female 1657 my female bobcat that is a big old cat beautiful cat